Hello guys, welcome to Simulated Heaven. As you can see, I'm driving an ambulance. Why am I driving an ambulance? Because I'm playing the game Emergency Simulator. No, Emergency Ambulance Simulator. I bought this game a while back on Gamersgate. I usually find it's a good idea to try and pick up these kind of simulator games when they're cheap in a sale on Gamersgate. So for example, over Christmas, they had a lot of their simulator games on sale quite heavily alongside a lot of their other kinds of games. Right now I'm on a non-emergency thing to pick up a guy to take him to hospital. Um, so because it's a non-emergency I need to drive within the speed limit. I'm not allowed to use my flashing lights or horns or anything. So let's see if we can find the guy. I've only been playing this game for maybe 15 or 16 minutes, or, you know, something like that. Just uh, to get an idea for the game. Ooh. I mean, so far the first impressions are not bad. Um, quite often with these kind of simulator games, like I said in previous videos, I sometimes feel it's a shame that they don't really put as much effort into the quality of of the game as maybe they ought to but I think that's why they charge a slightly lower price even the regular regular price for this game I think is 20 uh, 20 dollars so sometimes I think it would be great if they could somehow start to ooh where's my guy is he there yes he's there can we reverse without hitting people barely Look at that, like a boss. Oh, F. Okay, so I should be able to go find the guy now. Oh, I go here. Oh, it's inside a house. No, it's not inside a house. I just need to pick him up. And it's it's still not an emergency. So yeah, I, like, I feel this game... Whoop, don't get one over now. I feel this game would be much better better on first impressions. I mean, I don't care that the graphics are very, very basic or pretty basic. I don't really care about the graphics, but they could really do some easy things to make this game feel a lot better. Um, I feel that the modeling, I mean, okay, it's only a cheap $20 game, but I do feel maybe they need to spend a bit more money on the modeling. The exterior modeling is okay actually, but the interior is pretty poor really. It's pretty low res. I mean, the exterior is not bad. It's kind of passable. The people are okay. Not great, but they're okay. But if I go on into first person view, you can see the modeling of the interior I think is pretty bad really. But hey, at least they've got an interior view. There are some of these games they don't have an interior view anymore, uh, which is kind of a shame. Now I'm going to try not to break the speed limit again. Um, also, another thing that they could very easily alter is they could have some kind of a support for steering wheel or even a gamepad. Seems like right now it it doesn't have any support for that. And if I could actually drive an ambulance using my steering wheel and it worked well. I believe that would add so much more immersion to this game, you know? But apart from those things, the first impressions are not bad. I'm kind of enjoying running some of the missions. But I would still say, I mean, it's early days, but I would say that most most people, I would say, probably wouldn't be happy with this game at full price for twenty dollars, but if you you know if you're interested in this kind of a simulator game, and you and if you can find it for a cheaper price in a a discount, you know like a sale, then it's more worth it. Like I can't remember how much I paid for this game, but it wasn't that much, and you know I feel like it's the kind of game that I could play for a while. It's pretty fun. It could be better, but I've seen a lot worse. At least the handling, like you know, recently I've been playing Woods cutter simulator 2013 I know I seem to be always talking about this game 
but it's kind of like a benchmark for how a sim game shouldn't be made because um, at least in this game the handling is, is okay not bad pretty you know at least the ambulance seems to handle reasonably well you know one other thing that annoys me is the sensitivity on the mouse it seems like it can't be altered which is kind of annoying me because I find that the sensitivity inside a vehicle is too low like when I'm using the mouse like this it's too kind of slow which is a bit annoying but uh, when you're on foot it's really fast so for some reason the mouse sensitivity is a little bit screwed up um, I very much doubt whether I can get track IR working with this game I will give it a go and I just exceeded the speed limit again oh dear Now I'm hoping that after I finish this one, this mission, I'm hoping I'll be able to do another mission where the um, where it's an emergency where I can show you using my flashing lights and things. There are loads of people that just can't understand why there are people out there that enjoy these games. It's kind of funny, right? I'm probably, you know, I always expect whenever I... I make a video on these kind of games. I oh, that's why I need to stop. I always expect that people are going to say stuff like, "Oh, why are you playing this game? Why you want to be an ambulance driver in a game?" They can't really understand it. But you know, I've always really liked these, these kind of games. I mean, obviously, I enjoy some more than others. This one is okay so far. It's not like blowing me away or anything, but it's okay. I can see it could be fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. Sneezing in videos, yay. As you can see, I'm not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> I sneeze in my videos. I burp in my videos, you know, all that stuff, all that good stuff. So I need to go park my ambulance and then I need to go write a report in my office and then they'll give me a new mission. I do enjoy driving around in the environment in my ambulance, but like I said, I would, I would probably be able to do this for a much longer period of time if I had um, the ability of using a steering wheel. If I could use my steering wheel and if the steering wheel worked well I could actually drive around in this game quite happily you know for a period of time for quite a period of time. That's my horn. The horn sound is all right, actually, not bad. I'm not going to be turning on my flashing lights yet, like I said, because it will give me a penalty. I've already got, what, two or three penalties for speeding. Don't particularly want to get more for using my lights. I wonder if this is going to be the only video on YouTube of someone playing the game seriously. Like, every other video I see on YouTube is people just taking the mick out of this game, like, crashing all the time. You know, I think certainly for people that, that that don't appreciate these kind of games, that they are wide open for people to ridicule them. And I think they would be less open for that kind of ridicule if, like I was saying earlier in the video, if people were to spend more money on making their game feel higher quality. For example, Euro Truck Simulator 2. I don't think I've ever seen a video of someone like trolling Euro Truck Simulator 2 because that's one of the first almost where I wouldn't say AAA of course it's not AAA but one of the first high quality simulator games on the market and I've never seen anyone in that video saying anything like you know trolling it or anything like that but unfortunately quite a lot of these games although I do enjoy 
um, quite a number of these games. Like I said, I just wish they would spend more time and make them a bit more higher quality. I mean, the modelling in this game is okay. I've seen worse, but it's not great. And the interior, it could be a lot better, you know? And who is this guy over here? He, he looks like a monkey. He actually does look like a monkey. Albino monkey. Hello, Mr. Albino monkey. He kind of looks like he's a character from Planet of the Apes. So, yeah. Like I say, I think that these games are very open for ridicule. Because quite often the quality of the game is not great. Quite often. Not all the time. But, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully Euro Truck Simulator 2 might start to set a trend. Okay, so I had to write a report. I was successful, but I did get a deduction because of my speeding. Now let's wait for another mission in my office. What does this say? That's some German, like, is it Christmas land or something? A person has fallen off a bicycle at a car park. Drive to the car park to see if you can help. Ooh, is this going to be an emergency one? And what ambulance am I going to be using? Ooh, I'm going to use this ambulance now. Yay! Now, it is M. And look, my flashing emergency light on my speedometer is on, which means I'm allowed to drive fast like a maniac. Well, not like a maniac, but I can drive fast. Yay! So let's try to get to the scene of the accident. You can go through red lights. You can obviously drive faster, you can overtake people like this. As long as you don't crash, you're all good. And, you know, this is obviously part of the fun of this game, to be able to, like, drive an ambulance quickly and try not to crash. And look how fast they got there. What a pro. And let's just park on the pavement like real ambulance drivers do. Yay! Now, you need to go find the person. Oh, yeah. Oh, he fell off his bike. Oh dear, it looks all mangled. And I thought it was a boy, it looks like a man. He, his bicycle is looking a bit worse for wear, let's just say that. Hello. Hello, how are you feeling? Not very well. My leg is bleeding and I think it's broken. It's very painful. Okay, so you have to use the cues to then click on this um, hospital sign here to choose what option you need to choose. Now, because he said he has a broken leg, I need to splint the fracture. I don't think we should do that. Oh dear. <laughs> what should we do? Check vital signs? No. See, sometimes it's a bit hit and miss here. Uh, no, you don't want to give him some medicine. Fluids? Why would he need fluids? Bleeding? Oh, is it bleeding? Aha! Bleeding. Now, is it going to ask me to splint the broken leg after that would be kind of cool but i have a feeling it's not gonna ask me that oh it is now let's try to splint the wound the leg yay so yeah so actually this part of the game is not too bad because i did have to think about the the various treatments needed and i didn't realize you can do one more than one treatment oh his leg has been splinted yay it's an emergency, people. Let's go. Sometimes your ambulance will get stuck a little bit, which is a little bit off-putting. Okay, let's go, people. Nino. Nino, Nino. Let us through. We're coming through. We got a a guy with a broken leg. I'm sure that in real life this would not be such an emergency. I mean, it is just a broken leg. But he did say that he was bleeding. I don't know. Anyway, let's go this way. Ni no ni no ni no. You can actually increase the density of the traffic if you would like. I don't, I don't understand why I can't hear a siren. 
I would have thought that I would hear a siren, but I can't hear a siren. I don't know why. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the end of the mission. Yay. There you go. Off you go to the hospital. Get in. Okay, George, let's go for a break, mate. We've been working hard today, haven't we? Let's go back to the office and park up the ambulance so it can be cleaned by Jeff. And then you can go audition for Planet of the Apes. Now, as you can see, because I no longer have an emergency situation, I cannot use my lights. Whoa, dude, your car looks all messed up. Like, some of the modelling is, you know, basically it looks like the cars have all been in, like, a sandstorm for 20 years or something. I don't know. But I really wish... Oh, and don't break the speed limit. I really wish that they would somehow improve the quality of what they're doing. But, unfortunately, I think it's one of those things, the industry, the hardcore kind of simulator game... It, industry seems to be in this frame of mind where they think it's too risky for them to have a game with a big budget or something or a larger budget they try to make these games on quite a small small budget and also for some reason most of, most of these uh, these kind of games are made in Germany I don't know why Germany has such a passion for these games maybe I should have been German maybe that's where my heritage is from somewhere, I don't know. Because it's kind of weird, isn't it, that loads of Germans really like these games, and I like these games. Not many people seem to like these games. Uh oh, I think I, I think I drove right by my office. I did. Oh dear. It's okay, I'll, I'll just reverse with my elite reversing skills. Yay! There you go. Sorted, mate. Okay, let's go for a cup of tea, all right, Kevin? I'll I'll put the kettle on, mate. All right? Yeah. You coming in a bit? That thing is freaking me out every time I come back to the office, seriously. Let's write up the report. Yay, I got lots of XP. Sweet. So, I'm not going to do any more of the missions in the game. I might do another video on this game at a later date to show you guys more advanced missions or something. Um, but, for now, I will end the video. If you have any questions about this game, please don't hesitate to... Um, ask me in, in the comments below or you can send me a personal message. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.